Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to reinstall the system software on your PlayStation 4. Now, I'm just using a small USB drive just like this. Then go on over to a web browser and go to google.com and type in PS4 system software right on top. Then go to the first page, how to update system software on the PlayStation 4 console. Then this page will open up and here is the direct URL. Then go on down under this page, and we do not want to get the PS4 console update file. We want to go to the PlayStation 4 console reinstallation file right here. So we will have to factory reset and reinstall the system software at the same time in the safe mode menu. So let's select this. Then it's downloading in the bottom left side of the screen. I'm going to go to the up arrow and select this and go to show in folder. And this will be my downloads folder. Now I'm going to plug in my USB drive. Now your USB drive should open up File Explorer. If it doesn't, you can find it on the left side of the File Explorer. Mine is called the USB drive D. Yours might be different. Otherwise, you can go to where it says this PC. And you can find all your different drives on here. So I'm going to go to my USB drive right here and select this. Then I'm going to go to it and right click on it. And then go to Format. And make sure it's FAT32. So let's go to File System. FAT32, then make sure you have the correct drive. Otherwise, you might be deleting the data from a USB hard drive. So let's go to this and delete it. And it has been formatted. Under the downloads folder, I can see the PS4 update.pup. I'm going to right click on this and then go over to copy. Then on the left side of the screen, I'm going to scroll on down until I get to my USB drive. And I can see it right here. I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to right click in the folder and I'm going to go to paste. Control V. Now, in order for your PlayStation 4 to be able to detect this update file, you have to right click into here and then you have to go to new and you have to go to folder. And then you have to name this PS4 just like this. Then you have to click into the PS4 folder and then you have to right click and create a new folder and then name this one update just like this. And you got to make sure that the PS4 update file is located in the update folder. So I can see it's right here. I'm going to cut this once again, go into the PS4 folder, go into the update folder, and then I'm going to finally paste it in here. So let's paste it and you can see it finally moved over. So you have to have it exactly like this. Otherwise, it will not be picked up and recognized when you're in safe mode. Now, let's go on over to my PlayStation 4. Now I can see my PlayStation 4 is turned on, indicated by the white light, and you want to completely turn this off. You can go to the power options on the PS4 and go to turn off. Otherwise, you can hold down the power button you will hear one beep initially and then about five to ten seconds later you will hear another beep and my PS4 will be completely turned off. Now grab a USB cable and plug into the front USB slot and then the other end into your controller. So let's plug it in right here and then wait for the PlayStation 4 to turn off. Then take your USB drive, plug it into one of the USB slots just like this. Now with your PS4 completely turned off, hold down the power button. You will hear one beep initially and then about five to ten seconds later again you will hear another beep indicating it's starting in the safe mode menu then go to your controller and press the playstation button then use the d-pad to go up and down in the safe mode and then select with x now in the safe mode menu go on down to option number seven initialize ps4 reinstall system software and select this then it says connect a usb storage device that contains an update file for installation version 10.5 or later then simply go to OK and it should delete everything off your PlayStation 4 and then reinstall the system software and it should look something like this I'm just going to go to update and then it's going to say please wait and then eventually it's going to copy over the files from the USB drive and then it's going to reinstall it all so hopefully this video did indeed help you out if it did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.